Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19. I'm Andy and this is the Let's Play on the Bjerg Topcord. And as you can tell, I have bought the Anderson wrapper here alongside, I don't know, extractor or whatever it's called. Uh, and I also bought over here, I have um, the stacker from Anderson, the Anderson Group Pack or DLC. Um, which put them in this sort of rows, which I think works better. Oh, I dropped something down there. Let's see if we can get this on here. Oh no. Oh, damn it. That was too Just wait until this little boom there goes forward. So drop it off there. Why did that fall down? Odd. Well, just put it up here again. So I've been doing silage. I first started off with one field and I sold that off just to see if it was possible. I made about 60 grand from that. So it was possible and it was pretty okay money. And I've done another field which I'm gonna go sell later in this episode if everything works. I just wanted to show you this. This, because two, if you take three, it doesn't work very well. Three is too too much, basically. Uh, for it to handle, you can ta you can put two in there. Not very realistic. You probably put one at a time in real life, of course. But two works. Um, and to save time, I'm doing that. Even though, uh, well, I know it's unrealistic. You would only use one at a time. It also so it makes the, the the bales much smaller. If you see, they're much wider than the machine first, and then you put it in, and then uh, they get much smaller. I'm sort of thinking they will. That's because they get compressed by the wrapper, wrapper. But I don't know if that's true or not. It does make a pretty long row here. And the last one here. It's a pretty efficient thing going on here because I have the mower, the self propelled mower. I have the, um, the, ra the baler behind that. And then I have the auto stacker, and then this one, and this one can also pull around. When we go from field to field, we can use oh damn it, we can use the the pause telehandler to to fix that. Actually, gonna go and make a little break here in the line, so we have. I don't. Know, it's not necessary. I made like a really long line at least, but um, you can stop it there and then start a new one. I'm thinking. Because I also need to steer it a little bit because it's steering. It is a very cool machine, right? I like this. I 
this is where I would really like the rear view thingy. I would like, actually I would like something that you could also, if you wanted to, you could set it automatically so it looks backwards when you're re reversing. That would be cool. Um, and But also the option to turn that off. So you get a quite, I mean, if this field, just off this field, we got plenty of bales, a lot of bales, uh, which is pretty cool, and plenty of money. There. This is the biggest grass field I have, so this will probably, if the price stays up, it will give us quite a good, good amount of money in the bank. Um, I have done a lot since last time. I sold off all my oats. Uh, which was a pretty good deal. I probably made like 400,000 euros or so. With that, I got a thousand euros per thousand liter, so pretty easy to calculate. I sold, when I sold nine, filled the, the trailer up and the, the truck and sold that. I had 90,000 liters in the trailer and truck. Um, so I got 90,000 euros, pretty much. Uh, slightly more, but I, I got thousand two euros per thousand liter so um but that was kind of cool and uh, get this in here So I sold that off and also sold uh, a field of, of uh, silage fields like these ones and got a 60 grand for that. For for the money I had, I had like above s just well, a bit over 600 grand for a while. And for that money I bought the Volvo wheel loader, which we're going to take a look at later. And I also bought... I bought the Volvo wheel loader, I bought well, the wrap there, I also bought, well, I had bought that before, uh, I bought the stacker, I ex actually I actually exchanged the stacker because I sold my Accusin and I got that one instead. Less capacity, but it, it sort of puts them in a pretty cool way, or easier way for the doing this, this kind of work anyway. Um, in case you hear something in the background, that's my kids who are playing some sort of Xbox game, I guess. Um, and then I also installed a mod called the Cattle Breed mod. It's a really small mod, I think it's like 34 ki kilobytes. Um, and you can find the link in the description as always. Um, but it's very cool because it actually I don't know if we're going to look at it on this episode or we might I think we might look at it or add it on another episode but it's kind of cool because it actually changes you know how you there's a mod out which brings more species or species yes but it's not species uh, kinds of cows um, species what am I talking about uh, more kinds of cows into the game. Uh, this one changes the, the four default cow types, um, but it changes in a way so you get two so two sort of two kinds of of types of cows. So you get uh, one for breeding, which is not producing milk; it's just for breeding, and and you sell them off. Um, and it's supposed to be be a little bit like uh, the horses 
you, you give them food and water and they grow and you get more money for them oh that's really crooked um so that's one kind uh, and then the other one is um the other kind is that it wants to produce milk and if you look at the ones that you you have for breeding you get two two types like uh, one who makes you can make more money off and one you can make less money off and they also produce different kinds of manure one is more produces more manure and one produces more slurry so that's the difference there too but then you, they use different things more food or more, more water and the same kind of goes for the milk breeding and uh, milk pr producing cows they have one kind that produces slightly uh, less milk but it's cheaper and um, they have one that is uh, more expensive but produces more milk which is the kind I have Holstein so when I installed the mod I had all I had two kinds the, the cheap producing milk and the Hol Holstein which produces more milk yeah, but it's more expensive so I exchanged all my cows for the Holstein type, type which is the the milk that the one that produces most milk but it's more expensive so I spent I don't know 200 250,000 on that just exchanging them and then I added a few more cows so now we have 121 cows which I think is pretty good Uh, we'll go and fetch this one by the way. Do this one first, it will be easier when we do the other one. God, that was crooked. I guess I could steer it a little bit while it's hooked up. It's very crooked. Maybe that will be. I think you notch it a bit when sometimes when you put these on there, and that's a problem also. If you're not careful enough when you put them on there, you sort of notch them, notch the whole machine and then it goes off course a little bit. So they're not too strange. No, that's not it. I want both of them. So if I'm more careful here, I should be having less issues with that. So when we're done with these these ones I'm gonna go and sell off the other ones. I'm gonna show you the I have a bunch at uh, field nineteen I believe it is which I'm gonna go sell but I'm gonna buy I'm gonna make <laughs> I'm gonna cheat I'm gonna buy the auto load trailer and hopefully that works I'm not sure because these look sort of different when you well, unwrap them but I think they should work might look a little bit funny with some distances between some of them but that should be the extent of the chain difference otherwise they should be s pretty much the same seem to put these bale stacks with a pretty good pretty good distance in between them sometimes they do fall off You 
real life you would have a switch on sort of like joystick or somewhere which you would switch between reversing and driving forward i don't have that it, i think drive control i don't know if it's called drive i think it's called drive control it has the same sort of function but i don't have that installed or the follow-up to drive control i might mistaken there on the name since i don't have it installed i don't know what it's called called but you can have it switch it there so switch between back and forwards i think you can actually set that in different vehicles too So I had a lot of issues also with the OBS software. Uh, I think I might have sorted them out now. I'm not sure. We'll see. This is the first. This is like I had. This is like a fifth try on recording this this episode today, and uh, because it kept stopping, it was like stopping, stopping, and then I haven't done much, so it shouldn't have been a problem. But then, then I changed another setting in the OBS software and. That seems to have, that might have fixed it. I think <laughs> I'm not. Well, I'm not saying the thing because I said it too many times by this point in time. Then that change, you know, best settings have s fixed it. And I thought the last time I switched, s changed the settings, it had fixed it, but it hadn't. So I'm not. Uh, there's a Swedish saying called "Man ska inte skupa hej när man kommer till vägen" or something like that. If you translate it, it's it would be you shouldn't uh, say hello until you're over the s spring or uh, over the river. So I'm keeping to that saying. I'm not saying anything until I know this has worked for a couple of episodes. So it's not something else that change, uh, gives this effect. Almost there. I mean, if you do it like this, it's uh, pretty efficient. You can do this pretty fast. Then we basically just have one field left to to do this on. And then we're done all. I've done all the grass fields we have. Own. So all four, four of them. I oh, didn't stay on there. It's like I thought it would fall off. saw on Dagwin's channel that a Swedish another Swedish map is called is out called Misslingen. So Misslingen was around for F seventeen. I think if you follow my channel you might have seen that I, I didn't do a let's play on it but it did sort of show it off at one point in time. I did play it off screen a bit. Actually quite a lot. I played a lot on it but off screen. And um, so Misslingen is supposedly out. I don't know where to find it though, so we have to probably Google or you go to Dagwin's channel and look. Or it's supposedly no, may maybe it wasn't out by the way. Maybe it's supposed to come out soon. So he had like a pre, pre look and a pre advanced look at it. Um, but that's a pretty cool map, and it looks pretty similar to the one version in the FS17 and maybe a little bit nicer actually almost done now a 
silage being Yes, and two bales after this. This is a part where I wish I had rear look backwards easily. Because it's probably not very safe just to drive the way I do. do. One of the problems is there's not, not, no, not any people here, but still. Driving forward like this is probably safer. That's a really long line, right? Cool. Like this. What we got here? That one. And then we need to go and wrap this. Andre for Ventalita. Hey Pikachu. My daughter just came out with a big Pikachu hat on her head. So I guess she's a Pokemon today. Or to unload. Let's see. So we'll drive that on full that. Drive that off a bit. Drive it over to you. I pause over here. And then we can hook it up. Cool. And turn it off. We'll put that on there. Like so. So this, um, so this is sort of our silage group, <laughs> silage machinery group. This is what we need and use to make these things. I think that looks kind of cool. It pretty works pretty nicely. So let's see. Let's go and si sell some silage bales. We need our truck. Here it is. Just need to um, get that off there. I'm just gonna go here and check out how much milk they produced our cows. So 19 actually it goes really fast. We need to fill up on TMR and that sort of stuff, but it's really f fast. It was 17 something when I started, so there is seems to be quite a bit of a difference compared to without a cattle breed mod. It seems to produce a l quite a lot faster actually, which is kind of cool. I think that's good. So now we're gonna buy the auto load flatbed and auto load trailer, and um, I don't think they're too. Exp we have enough fun if we do that, and then we're gonna use that to go sell silage bales, um, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, we'll see how much money we get. I'm not sure. Um, I think it will be a pretty efficient thing with the auto load tools I know it's cheating but still what load those so they're here on the uh, the tools here and what load so pretty sweet so this is um, that's pretty cheap actually let's buy the base one no not that one maybe this one yeah this one so buy that one without the railings there and then we need uh, this platform I think we'll go with black the other one was black. All of these are pretty cheap, so I didn't put a big dent in my my bank account. 257. It's pretty cheap. It's a good thing these what won't happen. It's a good thing these um, fences here aren't 
that they aren't collidable because otherwise it would be tricky to get this thing on. So here we go. So this was the setup I used on the other, other time, the other episode there. Uh, but I leased that it that time. I'm, I'm buying. I bought this this time, so we can use this in the future. Uh, so a little bit of an expense, but we'll get get it back. I think. Just you have to. Re I don't know. <laughs> One big problem is I don't know where to put everything I have. I have so much tools by now I'm uh, not really sure where to put them. We go there and we need to check out what to do drop of course we work for and uh, this pallets. Large square bales. So hopefully this works. I haven't tried this out so I'm not hundred percent sure it works. So over here I had have some bales which I did before so let's um, get these up Pretty long line. <laughs> Hopefully, it loads them up. Lo loads them up. I have no idea what what sort of money we'll get for them. So uh, to load them, you press U. Yes, it seems to work. Right, good. And then we switch to our this trailer, and we go square bales. U there too. And we to drive so this is a really easy way to do this I don't know if you can put wrap straps on them oh. Oh. so 24 plus 18 I think so that's how much is it Ten thirty-four forty-two bales. If I calculated that correct, right? I, I think so. I'm not sure. So and we'll go switch to our Ford, the flatbed. And we'll do uh, I showed this on last episode, so it's basically the same. Um a little bit tricky to know how much where to turn this point here. Let's go sell that. We made 16 grand. That's good. And same with this. We'll make more with this, of course. Like so. And we made 22 grand. So that's good money. And we need to go and get the rest of the bales there. And then we have all the bales up at the other point where we just were to we get those bales to you and sell them um, but I might do you all might do it on the next episode or this ep I don't know or this episode we'll see um, no not this episode we're running out of time I'll sell these bales and then that will be the it of it 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 of it that's not a word that's not a word that's not a phrase you use So you see, even though we bought a trailer, uh, trailers and flatbed, trailer and flatbed, we are back to more money than we had before. We had 150, now we have 164. So that's pretty, that's really good. 
Oh, sorry. So we just go and sell these, and then I'll, I'll I'll finish this episode. I know it's cheating. I know. I know. I know. I know it's cheating. I wasn't gonna cheat a lot in this map, and I'm I'm not cheating a lot. I'm cheating a little bit because I'm bored of doing it. I played 240 hours in this map at this point. So the less was it's 189,000 euros is a lot of money. That's pretty good. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna stop there. Uh, so this has been a let's play on Farming Simulator 19 for Bjork Top Gord map. I'm Andy, and if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment or share, and I will see you soon. Have a great day, everyone. Take care. Bye bye.